Hey, Dane here with DJ2 Living in Wheel Time. We're here out cleaning up the 2022 F350 trimmer. And I'm getting uh, questions on uh, the YouTube channel about why didn't I hook up my battery cables going to power the Victron charger to the back of the truck? Why didn't I connect them to the passenger side battery? Well, let me flip the uh, camera around, jump up on the truck, and I'll show you why I didn't do that. And, all right, so on the driver's side of the truck, uh, you see the negative battery has a nice terminal you could connect the negative to if you wanted to. The driver's side does not. And this cable on the driver's side, you see it goes into the wiring harness here. And I don't know where that thing goes. I didn't want to trace that thing down. Now you could put it right here, but I don't suggest that. That's what clamps, holds the clamp, pinches this clamp together. So I don't suggest connecting to that. So that's the reasons, one of the reasons I didn't. The other reason is I wanted a sensing wire to go back to the Victron charger, which is right here. Uh, and so I was gonna have to run it over here anyway. And then you can see on the passenger side, they have a terminal point like on the negative terminal on the driver's side there that you connect, but it's on the positive and on the negative side there. So you can, uh, you know, make a lot of connections there. And then of course, here's the fuse box to the auxiliary switches. And that's where I got um, my sensing wire going back to the back of the truck so I can control the Victron charger on and off by using the auxiliary switch up in the cab. So, <clears throat> if you don't know, if you have solar and you're on a uh, cloudy day like our trailer, we have solar on our trailer, but on a cloudy day after we, you know, use up some batteries, juice over overnight, uh, and then it's cloudy the next day, the solar is not charging. So, um, the advantage is having this in the truck, you just click on the auxiliary switch, kicks on the Victron charger, and it charges. So every time I connect my trailer, I plug up uh, all the leads to control the Victron charger, whether I need them or not, and to at night. You know, when you're at night, if you're still driving at night or something, you can be charging your batteries uh, instead of uh, letting uh, them get a little low. So you can keep them topped off, basically. So. That's it, so that's the reason why I ran the uh, cables to the passenger side instead of the driver's side. So for DJ2 Living in Wheel Time, I'm out, and y'all have a great day. All right, I almost forgot to show you guys this, but I did add a flush mount uh, cover protector for the Anderson connection for the DC uh, connection to the trailer. Came out good, I just need to get a flush mount for the sensing wire going to the charger and then it'd be uh really jam up so that's a little addition to the video that i almost forgot but there you go flush mounted anderson connector